In terms of effective monarch, then controversially, I would now go with, wait for it, Elizabeth I. Wow! I know, wait for it. So she achieved basically through inaction. She was congenitally indecisive. She relied almost entirely on the genius of others. Her reign is remembered because of the genius of others. Um, and I actually think her decision not to marry was practically suicidal. It was in terms of the dynasty, of course, not yeah. individually. Uh, it was deeply selfish because a secure, peaceful succession depended on her marrying. And she just didn't give a fig. It's like, après moi le déluge. I don't care what happens after me. And she is considered successful because she lived so long and because James VI took off over after her without bloodshed. And she did nothing to create either of those outcomes. God, you have given this some thought. <laughs> I like that was <laughs> she came down off the top of your head. <laughs> I have thought about it. I, I think she's I think she's really overrated. She didn't. She didn't yeah. care. Yeah. Right? I mean, you, you gotta care. You gotta care. Yeah. Even Mary yeah. cared. Um yeah. so I, I like that. And you're right about the genius of others, right? Who do we associate with Elizabethan days? Other people. Yeah. She was just a manager, right? They were the ones on the pitch to use your terms. Yeah. 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 I mean, she wasn't even doing much managing. I mean, she was just sitting, like, I mean, she was sitting at the bar, you know, like, <laughs> she, she wasn't even watching the game. Oh, um. my God.